They help to develop children's ability to plan, to articulate what they have planned, and to analyze the structure of the objects. The key feature is the opportunity to develop mathematical concepts and the language. Because the program demands the use of a rich mathematical vocabulary in a practical and visual context, they will learn how to balance, how to build, and how to connect. And these are very important for the children. So we encourage children to actually problem solve. At the same time, do a little bit of free flow play because this will also help them to plan and we give them shape to their own vision. The children will have tasks which demands a combination of logical analysis and symbolic representation. So children may analyze a plan and work out the blocks that they need. And they will also place them to create a 3D structure represented. So one of the things that we do is also we will bring children out and they start looking at things around them because this is life application. So they start looking at fences, they start looking at gates, they even start looking at bridges. And they will think, what are some of these blocks that have contributed to this structure? They will devise their own solution to overcome problems such as building a road that's wide enough for two vehicles or a bridge that is tall enough to allow a big boat to pass through. One of the very interesting lessons which I had with the children was to save the ducks. So the ducks were all in the pond and there is a little fox that is very hungry coming to eat the ducks. Now if we do not build something around the pond, what will happen is the ducks will be eaten up. So the children will then have to think of ways or use different blocks to then build that structure that must not have gaps in between them. Through this story, the children will solve the problem with meaning. And their main mission is to save the ducks. Not so much of just building the fence, but to save the ducks. Now, why are some of these skills so important for children? Because they can be architects of their own lives. So we also want children to be able to self-regulate. So with some of these planning skills that they acquire, they are able to set goals for themselves and make plans which allow them to achieve these goals. 